I stood before the bars of fate and bowed my head disconsolate. So high they seemed, so fierce their frown, I thought no hand could break them down. Beyond them I could hear the songs of valiant men who marched in throngs, and joyful women, fair and free, looked back and waved their hands to me. I did not cry, too late, too late, or strive to rise, or rail at fate, or pray to God. My coward heart, contented, played its foolish part. So still I sat, the tireless bee sped o'er my head with scorn for me, and birds who built their nests in air beheld me as I were not there. From twig to twig before my face the spiders wove their curious lace as they a curtain fine would see between the hindering bars and me. Then, sudden change, I heard the call of wind and wave and waterfall from heaven above and earth below, a clear command, arise and go. I upward sprang in all my strength and stretched my eager hands at length to break the bars. No bars were there. My fingers fell through empty air.